Well, now you might have a question in terms of, okay, Lisa, well, if I'm going to bump around and once in a while crash <laughs> as I'm learning how to open and close doors, as I'm learning how to try to get through doorways, and it might be a little tight, but still enough room if, 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 if. <laughs> so I really don't want to bang up the house or the apartment that I'm renting, you know. So what can I do? Well, if you're renting an apartment, then you have to send a request into the landowner or to the administration to request, you know, protectors. And I'll be putting pictures up, uh, protectors for the corners and protectors for the doors. Now, they don't have to look ugly. Uh, you know, the protectors for the corners uh, are very easy. You don't have to screw them in. They just have tape on the other side and you peel the tape off and you and you press it on to the corners. And for the doors, you know, you've seen those metal protectors that, um, you know, at the bottom of the doors, that's probably what you're gonna need the most, but they are transparent ones. And they also have like little tape. You pull that tape off and you, you press it against the door and there you go. So um, if it's your own home, go for it. <laughs> and that way you're going to save the corners. That way you're going to save the bottom of the door from your um, bumps and scrapes. <laughs> and, you know, um, also there are, there are protectors for tables and things like that. But my suggestion is there not be any tables in the middle of rooms. Uh, it's just uncomfortable trying to get around, all that kind of stuff. So if you can avoid having a table in the middle of the room, yeah, I would eliminate it. Um, but uh, as there are protectors for corners and protectors for the bottom of the doors, uh, there are like protectors for tables, for the edge of the tables. Um, they make them especially for kids, you know, that trip and fall and so that they don't bump their heads, you know, on the edge of the tables and cut themselves. So there are protectors for the edge of the tables. If you wanted to get a few of those, those just pop on, slip on. So, um, so you can get a few of those so you don't, you know, just keep on bumping yourself. <laughs> It hurts when you hit yourself on a corner, trust me. <laughs> so again, you know, once in a while you're going to you're going to you're going to bump into things and and that's okay. It's perfectly normal. Uh you, you just have to kind of slow down a little bit, you know. Uh but sometimes we're in a hurry and we need to get stuff done. So we do bump into things. <laughs> so and not on purpose, really not on purpose. So uh, if you have like, a, a, you know, this, this, like this furniture over there, over there, <laughs> if it weren't, you know, for the printer, then I might bump into that too. Um, and I know the wall back there, I've bumped into it quite a few times. So there's a few scrapes there. And I'm hoping to get a protector there because th there's no other way I can <laughs> move the bed unless, you know, I moved it far over or put it against the wall. So um, it's just the position of the bed right now that it's, it, it's a tight squeeze between the bed and the wall. So, um, and I still might bump into that corner, you know, when I'm skidding around and trying to, to get out the room. So... <laughs> So those are my suggestions for protecting the house from you and the wheelchair. <laughs> so, <laughs> and, you know, you can think of the kitchen as well. Um, what kind of things would would help you, you know, not bang into to the table or whatever, get some protective, uh, you know, plastic things that pop on and so that the table, you know, doesn't hurt you or you don't hurt the table, so <laughs> it can go either way. <laughs> so, so it's that kind of thing. Um, 
once you become, you, you know, you master the turning around the corners, once you master, you know, going into one room and the other, you'll, you'll learn, you know, more and more not to um, bang into things. And still with a manual wheelchair, usually the, the damage is very minor, if anything. Um, but for the power wheelchairs, the power wheelchair always wins. <laughs> you gotta remember that. Power wheelchairs always win. They are have a frame of metal and uh, they will peel off things. They will put dent in things. Um, so, you know, the power wheelchair is always gonna win. So y you have to protect, you know, uh, corners and um, you have to protect doors so that, um, excuse me. <laughs> um, so it's that kind of thing. And, you know, again, as I was talking before, you know, you, you want to put furniture to the side. Sometimes in the kitchen you can't. If you have a table that's in the middle of the kitchen, um, you know, it's it's really hard to to move that, you know, to to the to the side. So, and maybe you can. If you can, great, and that will avoid you crashing into the table <laughs> when you're zooming through and and you need to get out the door pretty quickly. Um, so it's it's not complicated, but if you live in a, an apartment, you're renting. Um, then you would need to submit a, l a letter and just state, you know, I'm, I'm starting to use a, a wheelchair. You might need a ramp. Um, so you want to think about what are you going to request to the landlord or the organization so it's all in one letter. Um, my hope is that there is a ramp already, and that's why you felt confident in getting a wheelchair. But if there isn't, um, y you want to request that as soon as possible. Um, what else? Yeah, just just protect walls, furniture, and and yourself, <laughs> so you don't hurt yourself. And again, with the power wheelchairs, they're always going to win, so they'll always put a dent or a scrape in things. Um, manual wheelchairs, not so much because your your legs are more exposed than than the um, than the frame of the wheelchair. Uh, the footrest will be exposed, so that might, you know, put some dents down at the bottom of, of doors, like in your bathroom. Hopefully you have a space underneath the sink, but if you don't, then um, you want to, if it's a tight squeeze, you, I don't know if you want to put, like, little protectors on, on the sink on the lower part. But it's it's up to you. You got to think about you know, things that you've already crashed into, <laughs> and see what what really needs to be uh, protected. And again, you know the protection will you'll need it less and less as you um, have better aim at going through doors or coming into the living room, dining room. So. And sometimes you might be in a hurry and you just you just hit it, you know. Um, I've had that issue that I've hit a chair or I've hit, you know, the wall or I've hit, you know, I've been turning around. I'm really quick in, in terms of turning around. And sometimes in the kitchen, I really hit the wall. And um, the good thing is that there's protectors on all the corners. So <laughs> it startles me. But then I just kind of go forward a little bit and I adjust myself and then I turn around. But, you know, it's, it's just a fact. It's a fact of life with, with the wheelchairs. So those are my, my ideas and those are... I just want to add a tidbit here that for those with power wheelchairs, if you're in the kitchen or somewhere else and you're trying to lean over, lean over this way with your body, you might want to turn off your power wheelchair first, because what's going to happen is you're going to have you're going to hit your joystick, and the wheelchair is going to go forward, and you're going to crash. <laughs> so, so turn off your power wheelchair before you lean over to get something in the kitchen. 
or anywhere else because your body is going to tap the joystick and your wheelchair is going to start to move. So just wanted to add that little piece. The pictures of um, the, the, the tools, of the, you know, the, the remedies that I know of. And, um, but if the house belongs to you, feel free. But if you're renting, you got to get permission. So um, that's all I needed to say on that one. And um, I'm hoping that things are going well with the wheelchair, that you're feeling that freedom. You're starting to feel that freedom. And, uh, and so any questions, any suggestions that you might have, um, please feel free to throw them in there for the new wheelchair users. Uh, because it's 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 a pretty big thing when you're starting with the wheelchair. <laughs> I'm sure you remember those days, those first days, first weeks that you had your wheelchair. All right, take care and be careful with those bumps. See you in the next video.